I know, Kathy Vick deeply awake in the, for now, this is incense, so we're going to move it, it's almost out, we'll alert you when it's out, boy oh boy the wispies, they're fun, so <laughs> we're going to do something fun, uh, we're going to do a quickie called, uh, <laughs> is the big brain the big brain saying just as she had done a meetup group which has been uh, quite unsuccessful so far due to a mismanagement of time not due to interest but we're gonna do it now what we would have said this <laughs> we saw a video and thought oh heck we need to do a quickie we need to talk about ascension. So let's talk about ascension! Exclamation point. Okay. Big brain go. All right. Long time ago. 20 year plus. We told this one. Hey. You want to know what ascension is? She said. Sure. Hit me. We said. Well, ascension is the process of removing each and every attachment so that anything can happen and it blows right through you. That is what we said a long time ago. We could, and we probably should, write this one. We'll tell you the truth. In the new energy, and you can decide for yourself what you want to believe, what you think is possible, and what seems reasonable as a human being? How about that? We would say there are two sides. And many facets to this science, dear ones. However, there is how it's done. See the last six and a half weeks. And there is how it might be expressed. Correct? But mechanics are important. In addition, we did speak about checks. We have not forgotten. It's important to discuss how, because we can assure you there are high physics involved. astrophysics here to far not quite yet in other words uh, thought of considered and it's fascinating we can assure you under this heading, of course, falls opening of an Akash, which can be uh, quite large, we say. And uh, in the end, comes to be seen as merely a fraction of what informs a soul. So, how it is done, well, under this, does it not fall? The psychology of change. The opening gambit being, ascension is the removal of each and every attachment. However, we did not reveal everything. It wasn't time. It is the detachment 
truly simply the acknowledgement, the love of and release of each attachment, each identity, of soul, trebling, trebling, trebling. It is not about breaking things, uh, it's not about, well, you've seen enough about the death and the motif of loss and you see the grief, you see the changes. There, there is a, uh, truly under this study, under this science, the must and should be discussion of death, of stop and start. And this is much more salient to those living in a linear reality, but we can assure you that it is something that everyone thinks about and some have feelings that the time might be up. And it's funny how this is part of the whole deal. Oftentimes, well, what is happening is, as identities begin to uh, be uncoupled from, or at least uh, questioned or considered, uh, and we say this is for the first wave, uh, the second uh, wave, to some degree, not, not for the crystals. The crystals are through this. So one of the reasons the crystals are here is to show you how it's done and how one stands in this energy. So attachment to smaller identities and we assured her back in the old days and we will punctuate it now. This means attachment to favorite foods to everything, to everything. It can get that intense. The idea being, what really is a favorite food? What truly is bad for me? <laughs> what possibly could hurt me? How can I not be in love with the food in front of me? You see the energy we're running. You see the light show. Do you not? Because we are speaking truth and we're speaking to your soul. One soul to another. So when you see the struggles that you have seen from time to time and the questions that sometimes the essays are all about head scratching and complaining and uh, shaking in shoes we say but some oh, oh, can you not see it can you not feel it the release of knowing true shamelessness true blamelessness true guiltlessness true self-honor and self-respect and a good sense of humor it's important it's not supposed to be so heavy it's supposed to be light work after all and it is after the attachments have been at least investigated and loved into alignment with self, understanding that these very attachments, which perhaps you fought against, perhaps you have denounced, and perhaps you've tried to kill, they were your creation. <laughs> and they were cooperatively done with family members who would have taken huge, risks karmically to have done some of the things that were done to move the story along la 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 how can there be a sense of hatred fear betrayal all those things huh once all of these are seen for what they are can you not see the progression into agreement fields how then it expresses it's not only 
uh, well, it could be seen as fields of consciousness, but it could be seen as uh, agreements of behavior. What is considered right and proper, and what is considered wrong and bad. To be encouraged or extinguished for what? Well, the greater good, we say, is used quite commonly, isn't it? We ask you, what truly is the greater good? If self in process is invalidated, silenced, and ground down, it doesn't take an economic genius to look at what's happened to the middle class as the leisure time decreases and the workload increases. Well then, what happens to uh, free thought, creativity, time to put things together, time to reflect about being a human, time to pursue perhaps something in the arts? Well, isn't that seen as a bit uh, irrelevant? To the uh, terrific disaster we have on hand, which does indeed change in flavor. It's uh, a consciousness, dear. The whole agreement field. And this also expresses biologically. And psychologically. With Conflicts, resolution, those kind of things. And then we move up, and then we move up. How do we move up? Well, we would uh, think that maybe a helium balloon that has some ties to it could be used. It's a nice metaphor, is it not? The higher the balloon goes, the better the view, <laughs> the more perspective. Is a person in a balloon a holy one? Because they're flying? No! They're in a balloon, ding dong. You see? But yes, go a little higher and you begin to realize there's a whole lot going on that you didn't know about. And it's all divine and it's all benevolent and it's all mind-poppingly beautiful and full of grace and love. Ooh. <laughs> but uh, starting there, hey, God is love. You are love. You are God. Okay, we're done. <laughs> yes, it doesn't work. Oh, dang it. We need to do some explaining. How about a little thing called, let's talk about ascension, exclamation point. So the, la the next thing we're going to talk about. So we can talk about mechanics. Yes, this, is, this is fascinates this nerd for you but not anymore not till the electromagnetic stuff gets red <laughs> we mean it no more goodies until you do your homework there's the deadline baby ha huh. <laughs> self-directed it'll be done by tonight <laughs> okay correct carrot chosen goal pursued so, that's how it expresses. We would give it so much credit. We are, ah, ah, giving so much credit and thanks. Thanks to Lee Carroll and uh, the Crayon and so many other quality individuals who are expressing so beautifully, responsibly, ah, in such alignment and honesty. There, there are no complaints. Uh, there are no angry people. It is seen as... Uh, <laughs> just... It would be as incongruous as if... Uh, <laughs> a mime walked in, in full makeup. If Marcel Marceau walked in. <laughs> what? This is a cry on event. There's no anger. There's no impatience. Smooth sailing, baby. So, 
This brings up how it expresses. We say with integrity, with honesty, with a sense of uh, inner authority. This obviously means that the person who's acting this way knows his own or her own worth. But this is saying volumes for an old one. There are many try on videos about the old soul that this one cannot watch because they flip her into that state of waiting for them to come and get her. <laughs> it is uh, something that is not uh, pleasant to remember and so oh, I remember it, yes, but once in a while that first the first time taking a step back and acknowledging my oh my someone else knows someone else has actually said the words for me just for me just so I can own this and feel okay and come to understand why it would be that I would feel more comfortable still living a bit as a shaman. It's just a holdover. It's just a shimmer on a highway. And this is what we say with the, some of the bleed throughs we say. We say that there has been a change in light quotient and so prior the more, more of the slow, more of the uh, judgment, the criteria, all that stuff. Oh, ne, 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 ne. And uh, hits of light, hits of light. Uh, <sighs> Excuse us. And then there is what we have been calling a critical mass, which is as much about consciousness as it is about behavior, as it is about mechanics. And this is a concept of will, of intent, of power, of choice, of a kosh, of desire, of need, of imperative. 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 And so, uh, some feel this way. Let them be. This one always did. And she was never shy. Never, ever, 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 ever. Not about this. Put the, all your eggs in this basket, dear one. Go on record with your legal name. Put it down there. Write it and then watch the miracles happen because you understand what you are doing is what we asked you to do <laughs> over 20 years ago and that is to live a life that is pure and clean to do it in such a way that you can be proud of every day of your life feeling justified in your behavior because you love your soul and you understand you have been expressing as your soul this whole time and being misunderstood by those who represent and then deciding to meet them there and duel and punch and spit and have conflict. Well, isn't that fun? What else is there to do? Be a nurse. Be a writer. Be a conflicted writer. Be a conflicted nurse. And then one by one let the attachments fall one by one, without even saying goodbye. Let your friends go. They'll come back. But it's time to say goodbye. And this is what we did. You might have noticed if you were paying attention to those tapes. And so it goes. Did we not say in that casino after the lights and the, and the machines went down and we giggled in her right ear and said, oops, <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was so funny. <laughs> and we said, what well, do you think you get a dose of that kind of light and you don't get a physical reset? Are you crazy? Oh, wrong word. Wah, wah. No, no, this is what we said. And we told her, expect the electrical equipment to go down one by one and then it'll repopulate or it won't. And she lost some equipment. 
But yes, it was that profound, that particular hit. And did we not say there's this thing that goes, huh, uh, huh, uh, and you know, you can stay there your whole life. Go for it. So much fun. But uh, some people just have a well, they lights up and uh, then they begin to fill and then it just is like one of those things. Do you have to go all the way and have a really funny accent and change uh, your physical body and uh, your wardrobe and your career and your expression? No. Is this a, an extreme form of uh, ascension? Well, we would say it's free form and entirely appropriate to the Akash. And we're looking forward to working with the Enrique eventually, sooner than later. But, you know, there's no need for proof. And this is what we say to close. Those who understand about ascension, they, they are on their own thing. <laughs> they're, fe they're, they're feelers. And so, uh, you know, and uh, uh, there are, now, are there, are there people who are on this ascension path and uh, those also who are not? Yes. We would suggest that uh, what the crayon was talking about in the five in a circle is this for the group one okay but is embodiment something that is going to happen with everyone yes and it gets to the point where this goes away and this alters and uh, youth is restored and yes there are procedures for that but the cheaters <laughs> this is how she thinks about these kinds of technologies She's not very friendly to them. It's naughty. It is a sign of her ignorance. And she needs to be very, very... Um, not awestruck, but willing to be a baby in some areas. Uh, one of the ways in which she got here is that she did not take a lot of people's advice completely to her car. It just wasn't necessary. Everything touched the car. Everything was remembered um, about the studies, but uh, there are only a few who walk with her now. It's fun to check. Why not? But uh, no longer looking for assistance and guidance. Clearly, just for confirmation and for celebration. And so this is one expression. This is what we keep saying. There are many. And who hasn't heard about a channeler? But to see someone uh, morph day to day, well, that's a little extraordinary. And it's not <laughs> entirely uh, uh, unexplainable why people close to her would be taken aback and uh, perhaps even mortified. So, live and let live. That the not is uh, a tremendous relief to her. They <laughs> just, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Come on, let's go eat. It doesn't matter. As it does. It's the same with her. There's really no no true discussion about uh, spiritual practice, um, belief structure, uh, with intimates normally. It's not, it's not, at a certain point it's just not necessary, even, even with intimates. It's completely self-contained because it, it is not about structure. In the end it's not about which channeler was adopted as the helper. It's not about which scientists assisted in the evolution of understanding of multidimensionality as it applies to physics. It's not about that. It's about being a soul. Call it being a goddess, Lala. This talks about our uh, first video. Isn't that really about like um, just like 
letting your soul ride points at a you. Isn't the personality rife with uh, conflict? Yes, girly. Huh. Yeah, that's correct. But uh, we would say that that was a process to embody it. And so we finish with the fun about the uh, chores. There was a flash when she was uh, locking her door to go to a party on the weekend. She had remembered, and she may have already talked about it, but we're going to do it again because it's so perfect for this. It truly is what dissension is, dear. So let us speak for you. She locked the door and realized she uh, was in high celebration and gratitude because she remembered so many days, so many nights, locking that door, feeling terrified, feeling awful, knowing she couldn't uh, bring any kind of help with going out there alone. Oh, so sad. And then on the weekend, locking the door, realizing, hey, wait, it's just the same being inside as outside now. Wow, I get to have so much fun tonight. Oh my God. I'm home, I'm home. And now today, same thing with the laundry. Just being home. Letting it blow right through you. Seeing it doesn't really affect a soul. Ha! <laughs> Double entendre. And with this, we leave with a pirouette. Ha ha! What a wonderful way to end this essay. We let the cat in from the porch. Poor baby was outside all night and now she's scratching to get in again. Mama keeps closing the door. Bye.